So today I got the Sun Joe Auto Joe tire inflator and deflator. So it does both. I bought this because it's 12 volt DC and also 120 volt AC. So you can use your car battery or battery pack or you could use the AC from your house. And not only does it inflate tires, but it's got two separate controls on it. So you could have high volume, which is for like blow up toys, or you could use high pressure, low volume for tires. So let's just open this up. I already cut out the tape. Let's pull out the box. Take it out of the box. This thing away. Read first. Okay. Read and read. Gives you the tools and what we're going to see here. Flashlight. A DC plug that goes into your cigarette lighter. Or your power pack. You know, we have a Blue Ready solar generator, so it's got an input for the cigarette lighter here. The holes for your blow up toys. Power cord. And your attachments for your the various inputs of your device. So on the bottom here, you have the actual holes for the uh, your car tires. And it's, it's a clamp type, so open, close it, locks in place, so you don't have to screw it into the valve stem, which I hate, because every time you screw it into the valve stem, you lose some air, so. It's kind of lightweight. Put on the scale, see what it weighs, but it's fairly lightweight, so. 3.4 pounds. It's not that heavy, which is good. Portable, you can carry it around. So we hooked up to AC. You could click it to DC, AC. This is for your car tire. So it's pretty obvious. And you switch over here for inflatable toys. This is your light. So your light on the side, like a flashlight. This is PSI. And so you want to go American Standard. You can switch between PSI, KPA, or BAR. In the United States, we use PSI. Some facts here I think that we should point out. The high volume motor is 60 watts. High pressure motor is 85 watts. The power input, like it says, 12 volt DC and 124, 120 volts AC. So we got the two modes, the high volume output for your inflatables and the high pressure for your car tires. For your inflatables, it puts out 14 CFMs and high pressure for your tires is 0.6 CFMs. That's what I'm gonna have to keep an eye on. That's kind of low. Like for instance, I believe the slime is double that. So the, the higher this number, the quicker it's going to be able to pump up your tires and the more power is going to have to pump up your tires. And this is our air pressure maximum is 125 PSI, which is pretty good. Inflatable hose length is uh, 16 inches and it's 25 inches for the higher pressure line. And it's got a 2.4 watt LED light. So we'll take it outside and uh, We'll give it a whirl and see how long it's going to take to pump up a tire. I'll set it for like three pounds. And this has automatic shutoff. So you set the pressure of the tires. And once it reaches that point, it'll shut off automatically. And we'll see how accurate that is. I have accurate tire gauge and we can check for accuracy there. And then I want to see how long it's going to take for the pump up. So we'll go outside and it's kind of cold outside. And we should be able to uh, see how long it's going to take to pump up tires. So this is the slime we'll be using as a reference. You can see it's a twin cylinder, so it's, it's pretty powerful. And the Sun Joe's one cylinder has a tendency of overheating, so it can't do multiple tires at the same time, or it can't do like the big truck tires. But we're just worried about cars here, so. The problem with the slime is that it could only go directly into your car battery. You cannot use a nine volt plug because it takes up too much amps and it'll, it'll blow your fuse in your car. So it's, it's convenient because sometimes this cannot reach the, the, the cables cannot reach the battery. So we have a jumper battery pack here. And we're also going to test out the noise levels too. Not that it matters you outside, you know, but something to consider. Okay, we'll hit the start. So it took a little over 25 seconds to hit three pounds using the slime. Now we're gonna do the same test using the sun gel here. So we'll put this on AC. It's 37 pounds, so we can set this at 40. 
So it's pretty accurate. So set this up at 40. Because we want to go up three pounds at 37 now. So. The light tells you how far you got to go before it hits 40 pounds. When it's all lit up, that means you have 40 pounds. We're past 25 seconds now. We're at 38 and a half. So it took 46 seconds to go three pounds. Whereas the slime took 25 seconds. But you can see all the lights lit and it shut off at 40 pounds. So let's check out the accuracy. 40 pounds. So this meter is very accurate. Next one, what I want to do is we'll go to the other side of the car and we'll run it on DC. Okay, so we'll turn this blue eddy on. It's already on for DC. So we're gonna plug it in. Now we're gonna test the DC function of this auto jaw here and see how long it takes to pump up three pounds. So let's see. Okay, we're right around 39 pounds. So we'll hook this up. I wish this cord was a little bit longer. Makes it tight. Getting the tight location is kind of tough. Put this on DC. We've got 39 pounds. Right around 39 pounds. So we're going to kick it up three pounds. So 38, 39, 40, 41 and a half. 41 and a half is where we're going, right? Yeah. Okay. So a little coronation here. We'll turn this on. Turn on the timer. So it took about 37 seconds, and I believe the AC was right around 46, so a little bit quicker on the DC side here than the AC. That could be variance, and it, it takes a little bit different time to push this thing in. Okay, so now we got one more tire to do. I want to put it back on, on AC again and see why I would think that AC should be stronger. Thirty-eight and a half. Go back on AC. Thirty-eight and a half. So we want to go forty-one and a half pounds. Uh, let's see. This, this thing's not in all the way. Thirty-eight. So we want to go three pounds up. Okay, three pounds. So start and see what's going on here. Oops. Okay, so <laughs> it took about 38 seconds. There's a three second delay when I hit it. As we can see, it's still relatively close between AC and DC. The main point is that this thing was able to do three tires, no issues. Gauge is accurate. The sliding is accurate. So it works. I mean, I think I'll be keeping this. It works out for me. We have snow blowers, we have lawn mowers, we get long carts, many things with pneumatic tires, and we got eight cars. When it's summertime or wintertime, we got to keep adjusting the tire balances. So this can come out handy. I like the slime, but then again, you know, like I said, the slime, I got to carry around a battery pack. Here, I don't have to worry about it. AC or my Blue Ready follows this thing just fine. We'll do is my truck tire, which is going to be a little more stress test than this, but so we'll get back to you once we're done. Okay, this is my second tire I'm going to fill up. It's a 31 inch tire for the FJ Cruiser here. And let's see what we're going to do. We're going to go. Now they want, you know, 10 minutes on, and then maybe 10 minutes off to cool down the, the motor. This is my second tire, you know, we're running on AC as you can see. So let's just turn this on. Okay, so we got 36 and a half pounds. We're gonna to wanna to do uh, 46 pounds on this. This tire is cost for 46 pounds. It's about, it's been sub-zero out here. It's middle of winter, so tire pressure is low. And uh, we're gonna give this thing a, a whirl and see how long it's gonna take. So, make sure it's off. Let's start, you know.
there we go. 46 pounds. Took 5 minutes and 31 seconds or 5 and a half minutes. So both tires, you know, we got about 10, 11 minutes on this thing. I'll give it a rest for about 10 minutes. It's pretty cold inside the garage here, so it'll cool off this pump in no time. So it's 46 pounds. Let's connect this. this 46 pounds so the gauge is accurate this is a pretty challenging test so if you want to know if this got the power to do truck tires and at 46 pounds no problem at all so i hope you found this video informative please click the like button when you have a chance please subscribe and thank you for watching